we've had a remarkable afternoon here at the National Quilt Museum. And joining us now is the curator of this facility. This is Rachel Barr. Rachel, thanks so much for being with us here today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank so you. How did this land in Paducah? What's the backstory here? The backstory is our founders, Bill and Meredith Schrader, are uh, Paducians. Right. Uh, and so we live in Paducah. They started also the American Quilter Society, and they were collectors of quilts. And they were amazed at the artistry, the creativity of these quilts, and they thought everyone needs to be able to see these quilts. And so they uh, created a museum for today's quilters. And uh, this is a museum then that honors what every quilter today may be working on, no matter what it might be. And it really is amazing art that, is. that you've got here. And so many art museums now, Rachel, are really trying to curate female-driven art and that's 95% of your collection here now, is that right? Absolutely. Quilting has always been traditionally a female art form, um, but it's also even more than, than that. It's, it's for the artists, it's their creativity, it's their way to express, express themselves. And so you may think of quilts as something that you can wrap up in, but these are not your grandmother's quilts. Right. Um, and these are works of art. These artists, uh, quilt artists, are using um, thread and fabric as their canvas and right. paint. Now, to your point, these aren't clearly your grandmother's quilts, but when somebody comes here, what are the types of quilts and, and the art, really, that they're going to experience when they come visit you here? Absolutely. Today's quilters can be working in several different uh, styles of quilting. A traditional quilt, uh, which has that maybe a center motif uh, and looks something that people are kind of familiar with. Then we also have studio quilts uh, and studio quilt artists that maybe have another medium in that. Maybe their background was photography or sculpture and now they're going into quilting. We also have contemporary quilt artists and they may use a little bit of everything with their, uh, with their quilts and then modern quilt artists. Modern quilters have a lot of negative space that they're working with, very bold, bright colors, graphic uh, designs. So whatever is in that genre of today's quilters, this is what we do here. And what do people tell you when they've come through the facility? Oh my goodness. Uh, most of them will just walk in and go, wow. Right. We'll just their jaws will drop. Uh, it's funny because we'll have a lot of husbands who will think, oh, I'll, I'll wait in the lobby. <laughs> and then, and if we can get them inside, then we have a hard time then getting them back That's out. Great. Because as we said, that these are works of art right. and people are inspired. They are in awe of just the, the creativity, mm -hmm. the the mindset, the patience, right. that's another big thing that sure. people will say. How long did it take someone to do this? Uh, so it's, it's always fun to kind of blow people's minds. I can imagine. A final question. You all have been so remarkably successful here. 30 years, you've seen more than a million visitors in here. What do you want the legacy looking forward of this place to be? Want that to continue, to continue with uh, uh, the art form with, with today's quilters, making sure that we are here for them, for whatever they may be doing, and also then inspiring new quilters. We have a fabulous education program uh, with uh, junior quilters, with quilt camp, so we are inspiring young people then to be quilters for tomorrow. Well, it's been a remarkable adventure. We've really enjoyed looking around. Rachel Barr, curator of the National Quilt Museum, thanks for letting us be here today. Oh, absolutely. Thank Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm Chip Holston, your host for Kentucky Life. Now if you like that story and you want to explore more of Kentucky, click right here to see more stories from our show.